Hello, welcome to a Teenage Genius. Now, today's video is sort of caught me a bit off guard because I wasn't really expecting this, but um, as you can see, I'm I'm still in my work uniform. It's literally quarter to 11 at night. And I've just got home and this is normally one of my, my routine things to do. So I'll get up in the morning, come into the snake room, check everything in there to make sure it's all right. And then I'll go to work or I'll check them before I go to work if I start in the afternoon. And then whatever time I get back, I'll always check my snakes again. And also in the evenings before I turn everything off and go to bed, I'll turn every, I'll check everything to make sure everything's okay as well. Um, so I've come home from work, finished 10 o'clock, got home for about half past. And the first thing I've done, come into the snake room and I've seen this. So this is my female clown. Now, I knew she was due to lay. Now she is on day, I believe this is day 30 actually, after her, um, her pre-lay shed. So she was making me wait and I'm not, not too bothered because I can see some beautiful, beautiful eggs there. I can see by her towel that's wrapped around there that she is completely done laying. Um, so she must have probably finished laying these, I reckon, a couple of hours ago because all the eggs, they do look pretty solid. And from what I can see, I think there is six eggs. Now that's absolutely fantastic because when I first saw bred this girl in her first year, she gave me three eggs. So doubling the eggs within sort of a year and a half is absolutely fantastic. So let's get this girl out. Um, actually, before I get her out, I'll quickly show you the male. Now, this is my banana clown clutch. Um, I've been trying to hit this. This is like the second year I've been trying to hit this now. Um, the male that I bred to her was a, just a banana, 100% het clown. So it's 50-50 chance whether I actually get any banana clowns or not. Um, I think it's a bit more than that. I think it's probably a one in, is it one in four chance I get a banana clown? I'm not sure. I'm terrible with, with odds and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about this clutch. This is probably one of my most anticipated clutches that I've wanted to hit so I'll quickly show the male and then we'll get these eggs out and get them all set up. Okay so this is my male, he's my banana head clown. You can see he's not sort of a, a normal banana, He's he's got some weird colours, he's actually just shed as well which is absolutely fantastic so you can see him properly but yeah I love this guy, the colours on him are just crazy and for a straight banana with 100% head clown he does look a little bit different if I get my other uh, banana route that's 100% head pied you'll see what I'm talking about it looks like he is actually shed within the last day as well he's got a nice fresh shed there but yeah this is my banana 100% head pied and you can just see that he does look like a just a normal banana um, but when you compare him to this guy it's the difference is just crazy now I would have thought that if he was a banana het, he would have just a normal appearance, but he just looks a little bit different. So whether that's the het clown making him look like that or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, whether he's got something else in him, I, I do not know. But um, it's just one of those things that you can never really tell. If I can get a quick look at that head there. Got a little bit of blushing on the head there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the difference between these two, so they're both 100% het, one's pied, one's clown. Um, yeah, interesting, but uh, I guess I'm not gonna know until these eggs finally hatch, so I'm gonna get this girl set up, get her all cleaned up, get her ready. It's gonna be a late one, I can already tell, but at the end of the day, I don't care, it's worth it. Even if I had to wake up at two o'clock in the morning to pull eggs, I'd, I'd still do it, so let's get it sorted.
Okay, so that's the six eggs that we got. Um, and again, you can see by where I've made the little marks, some of these eggs were laid absolutely perfect. Where I've made that original mark, you can see these guys. Um, a couple of them I have moved a little bit, but again, like I said in my previous video, whether moving it from that mark to that mark is going to make a great difference, I, I don't really know, but I just like to try and control it as much as I can, just try and eliminate as many of the possibilities as possible. So now we've got all these marked type, we've got them spun the right way, get them into the egg box and then into the incubator. Okay, so that's the egg set up. They're in the incubator. I'm really, really happy. You can see I actually had a boob egg on one of them, which was quite quite interesting because I've not had a boob egg before, so it's different to get one of those folks. But I've got six eggs. The veins look absolutely fantastic. Everything was positioned perfectly. The mum did a really good job of laying them, to be honest. They're all pretty much the right way up. Now, it's always a good thing to come out and check your snakes regularly, especially when you know you're going to be getting eggs. I'll come out in my snake room probably three, four times a day if I get the chance. And each time I come out, I'm probably out here for a good half hour to an hour anyway, just because I'm opening drawers and having a look at stuff, or because I'm so ACD, everything's got to be clean and tidy. I'll be going through and just quickly cleaning, doing this, doing that. A lot of the time I end up being late for work just because I spend so much time out here. But I think it's always a good good thing to do to actually come out and check your snakes regularly because if I have checked those eggs tonight I would have gone to bed got up probably sort of eight nine o'clock in the morning come down and checked everything and then found them um, they probably would have been fine in there but I don't like to leave eggs too long now I know they weren't laid around one o'clock in the afternoon so they've been laid from then between then and now so it's always good to come out in your snake room check regularly check on your females and even if it's not free it's just check checking on the welfare of your animals they might have knocked their water tub over like you saw she did or or something might have happened the thermostat might have broken the temperatures seem really hot it's just a really good thing to just come out check them regularly and just make sure everything is safe just gives you that little bit of peace of mind really um, i was actually going to be doing a video tomorrow on my incubator i've had a couple of people ask me about my incubator because at the minute I'm using a, a, just an old vivarium for, for my eggs and I've used this for two seasons, this is my third season using it um, I've not had any problems with it so far but I will be upgrading it to a custom built one myself um, but I will be doing a video on this as well just so that you know that you can basically use anything as long as it keeps the heat and the temperature um, stable you can use anything you want to be honest, I used to use a polystyrene box um, when I first started messing about with snakes and eggs and stuff like that, I used to have them in a little polystyrene box and that did absolutely fine. So stay tuned if you want to see this video on this um, incubator. Uh, I might try and film this tomorrow morning if I get a chance before I go to work. If not, it'll be out within the next couple of days. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram. I'm on a tinge of ginger over there, so go give me a follow. Um, if there's anything else you want to know, then just feel free to message me. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. My incubator, I had a couple of people ask me whether I 